It's like this. So have I told you about this guy named Father Greg Boyle? <laughs> yeah, only every other time I preach. I've, I've mentioned that guy. Uh, so, so he's a guy just for you. I mean, you're like, really didn't get that, but that's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> so he's a, he's a guy who's a Roman Catholic priest, and he uh, works in South Central L.A. with gangs. All right, and so he's got a really powerful ministry with these very oftentimes hopeless young people. And one of the things he, he does is he goes around California, really he goes around the whole country, really trying to tell people about the ministry to make them aware and then also to get support for it. And he had a, a, a speaking uh, gig out in, um, in um, Bakersfield, California. Farm country in, in, uh, in the Southern California, right? Okay, so he thought, I'm going to take these two guys, these two guys who were part, part of gangs, and they were right on the edge of trying to get out of the gangs. So really right back and forth, you know, and he thought, this will be a great trip. They'll be a part of something. And so he took these two guys, and then when they got to Bakersfield, they ended up at a restaurant that was what he calls a step above Denny's. So imagine this, so this, this uh, Roman Catholic priest with these two gang guys, you know, shaved heads, tattoos, that kind of baggy attire. They walk into this farming restaurant, and at, right at the front is, uh, is a hostess with one of those beehive haircuts, right? Beehive hairdos, I should say. So they walk in and look at her, and she looks at them, and it's like, this isn't right. We are in the wrong place. They're thinking, we have come to the wrong place. And she's thinking, you have come to the wrong place. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> so th- they say that to, to Father Greg. They say, you know, this is not right. We, we need to leave. This, we don't need to be here. And she, with all that she can say without coming right out and saying this, saying, you don't need to be here. You need to leave. Uh, but he, he just won't have anything of it. They need to eat. So she takes them back to this table that's in the very back corner of the restaurant, away from everybody. And on the walk back the, the, um, to the table, everybody just stops and stares. And the guys are whispering to Father Greg, everybody's looking at us. And he's going, nobody's looking at us. Uh, uh, everybody's looking at him. Everybody's there. You know. So they get back to the table, and they're back there sitting there, and, and this is totally uncomfortable for them. And, and they just keep saying, we need to leave. They don't want us here. We do not belong. And then the waitress comes. And it's honey this and sweetie that. And can I get you more of this? You want another refill with that? How's your food? How's it going? How you doing? Honey, sweetie, honey, sweetie. And pretty soon these guys feel totally at home. The whole atmosphere changes. And the people who didn't think they mattered realize they matter. The Spirit of Christ, my friends, is with us today, and it comes all the time. It comes in the story of a man riding in on a colt. It comes in a woman wearing an apron. And as Father Greg said, the woman was Jesus in an apron. The Spirit of Christ comes. And the Spirit of Christ always brings hope. And the hope is this. Your life matters. My life matters. Because all life matters to God. Amen.